Hey Brainiacs! Today we are going to learn about the eyeball. There are 10 parts of the eye. The iris, which is a circle of muscle that decides how much light enters the eye. And it's also the colored part. There's the lens, and it changes its shape to focus light on the retina. The retina is the third part of the eye. It is a layer that contains millions of cells that detect light. Next, the next part of the eye is the pupil. The pupil is a circular part that allows light to enter the eye, which is the black part in the middle of your eye. The ciliary muscles are what move or adjust the shape of the lens. And the sixth part of the eye is the vitreous humor. It is the thick jelly that is in the back of your eye. Now, next is the fovea. It's the central part of the retina and it's where our color detecting cones are. The ninth and second to last part of the eye is the sclera. And it is the hard outer layer of the eyeball. Okay, now the last and final part of the eye is the optic nerve. This connects your eye to the brain. So, now with the optic nerve, your eyes can send a message to the brain. Here's my personal favorite fact about the eye, is when you first look at an object, so say I first look at this water bottle, when I first look at it, my eyes will see it upside down. But when it sends the message to the brain, my, um, my brain, and my eyes will process it and make me see it normal again, like upright. And um, it goes super quick, so no matter how many times you try, you can't see it. And now I'm going to list the parts on the outside of the eyeball. Now there are only six parts, so four less than before. The first is the sclera. It's the white coat of the eye. Second is the inferior rectus muscle. And it pulls the eye down. Third is the inferior oblique muscle. This allows the eye to move, the eye to move up and down up and down toward the outside of the head. So that way, the way we normally see. And then fourth is the lateral rectus muscle. And this is this pulls the eye side to side. Fifth is the superior rectus muscle. And it is in charge of the eye's upward movements. And lastly, this thick, and it's called a superior oblique muscle. And it rotates the eye up and sort of toward the nose. And guess what? Your right eye has a red filter. So everything will normally be in a shade of red. You might not see it in a shade of red, but it's like very, it's there. It's not that visible, I guess, but it's there. And then your left eye has a blue filter. So if you close that, you might see a different shade of blue. And if you keep doing it, you might see it. Um, and when they work together, you will see exactly how you see right now. Unless you're closing one of your eyes. Your eyes are sensitive to three colors. And those colors are the primary colors of light. They are blue, green, and red. When you mix green and red, they will get yellow. And when 
green and blue are mixed together, they get cyan. And when red and blue are mixed together, you get magenta. But wait, when you mix blue, red, and green together, you will create white. That's crazy. Some eye diseases are macular degeneration, glaucoma, and cataracts. Some symptoms for macular degeneration are fuzzy vision, straight lines appear wavy, and difficulty reading or seeing details in dim light lighting. A treatment is using vitamins and minerals to stop the progression. You may also use laser surgery. Some symptoms of glaucoma are severe eye pain, which can lead to nausea and vomiting. You, mo you may also see little halos around lights. The treatment can be eye drops, medication, or laser eye surgery. Some symptoms of cataracts are blurred vision, faded colors, and sensitiv sensitivity to light. The treatments you use are is the treatment you use is cataract surgery. And here are some fun facts about the eyeball. The first fact is it looks like is it's basically like two brains on the outside of your head. And there's a tissue, which is the retina, in the back of your head that is full of neurons and same with the brain. Neurons absorb a flash of light it convert it into electric electrical sis, signal to send to your brain the retina is organized very neatly into several layers and all work together very fast for this signal exactly like a computer would and thank you for ty tyler robert lewis for helping me find this information. And make sure to like and subscribe to my channel to learn more on Brilliant Brains. Stay healthy.